Good morning, everybody. Uh, heading on down the road. This is unusual for me. And yes, my windshield is that scratched up. That's one of the problems with uh, lawn care is uh, you're constantly getting sand on your windshield and if you turn on the wipers, well. Anyway, heading down the road, I've got a new one, uh, which is a field out in the middle of nowhere. That's probably what I've named this. Field out in the boonies, something like that. And you'll see in a moment what it is. But, uh, you know, got to film this segue. So we'll be to the first gate in a moment. Okay, here we go. So what we have here is way, way, way back there is the field that I'm going to be mowing. But there are a couple gates I have to get through. And I just wanted to mention, you guys that are new um, to grass mowing, you'll get situations like this where you have... Somebody wants you to mow something on a regular basis behind a fence. And uh, I have learned not to do it unless I have my own way in. Like if it has a combination lock, I get the combination. If it has a key, I get a key. And it's a deal breaker because I, I've tried so many times to work with people. And uh, of course, if you don't have a key, they have to meet you out here. And I, I don't think I need to explain how that... Even the best meaning people will ruin your day if you if they don't show up. So, I do have a key. So I'll be going through this gate and then we'll be going... Boy, I think I might be able to... There's the next gate way over there. So anyway, let me get through this one. Okay, and of course I've got to shut the gate and lock the gate behind me so nobody gets in. Alrighty, so this area over here, okay, the entire area, the giant everything, is county property. Um, this area over here is always mowed and maintained. Um, just judging by these little stairway thingies, boy is that window dirty. Um, I believe this area over here is used for horses. I don't know what they do with horses over here, but um, that's pretty well maintained all the time. The rest of it is not. Uh, over here, this giant field is a field where they run the um, radio-controlled gliders. And uh, they say every once in a while they bring the bush hog in there and knock all that down. Which uh, would probably be very important, because this is rattlesnake country. Uh, anyway, coming up on gate number two. And you can see this is the rare exception where you actually have a bathroom. Anyway, we'll get through there in a second. And that's where I have to drive. Super thick grass. I guess I'll film that. And it's been raining too. This could get exciting.
so what am I doing out here? So this is the back area of the giant uh, county property. And it is public land. Anybody can walk back here. As you saw, there was an opening by the gate. You just can't bring a car back here. And so let me explain what it is. Now the area that you're seeing here that's all mowed, this is a radio controlled uh, model airplane runway. And it is kept up real nice. And that is not what I'm here for. I'm actually not the one that keeps that up. But somebody's doing a real good job, aren't they? And that would be real exciting. No, 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 I'm the one that has to do this over here. Let me try to get up on my truck. Up there. Okay. Now if you can see this kind of giant square that has been mowed, that was me that mowed it. What this area is, is a model rocket field. And if you've ever launched model rockets, you know that you need a gigantic area like we got out here. But uh, this is the launch area. Launch pad area is all sand. It's right there. I've got to weed whack that away. And then I've got to mow the entire field. The uh, entire square there, the uh, staked off. Now the first time I did this, it was all as tall as this stuff here. And it was a bit of a nightmare, and I'm sorry I didn't film that. But it was one of those days where just everything was out of control. And it was, it was tough anyway. It was a frustrating mow. Because the deal is here, the grass, the, not the grass, but the ground underneath has never ever been graded. It's completely natural, so it's not level. It's, it's like bumpy, or hilly, or bumpy. Hard to explain. Uh, you'll see when it's mowed that it's uh, definitely something that's difficult to mow. Um, but this time it should go quite a bit smoother. Now, because it's model rockets, he wants to make sure that there's no thatch. So it's not like I can stripe this and then go over and over it and get all the, uh, um, everything all mulched up. He doesn't want any of the thatch in there. As you can see, last time I mowed it, I had to split it down the middle and blow all the thatch off into the other grass there. And so at least that part is done. It should go quite a bit smoother this time. So the idea is to go straight down the center and keep blowing out like this. To, this side will go this way, this side will go this way. And then it'll eventually all be off to the sides and the back. I kind of do a, a bit of a U. Uh, anyway, I guess I will get started. I have no idea how I'm going to set up and film this, but, uh, you know, let's do it.
Okay, there it is, all done. Oh my goodness. It is starting to look good. This is the second time I have mowed this one. The first time it looked really, really rough. This time, you know, some nice grass came up. Before that, it was all this kind of stuff over here. Let me try to zoom in. The whole thing was like that. But none of that stuff grew back up. It was all grass. It was nice, except for that one palmetto that I filmed over right around there somewhere. But yeah, so that worked. I mowed it very differently this time. I was able to go back and forth. And then I left it there for a little bit to let it kind of dry out a little bit. Uh, make it easier to do, you know, what was it? 10, 15 rows all one direction without it bunching up so much that you wouldn't be able to do it. So the being dry, it was able to flow better. So the only thing I have to do now is the one corner where I had the tripod. <laughs> So I still have to do that. I imagine, well, should I film that? Yeah, I'll film that. Let's do that. Okay, now I'm done. And the cheetah certainly did its job. I'll film it, uh, I'll blow it off in uh, slow motion. Just one of those things that I do. I just wanted to show, you see all the unevenness over here? This is what I was talking about. Of course, being all natural land, it has never been graded. And look at the symmetry there. I think that what this is, is old brush hog tracks tractor tracks when somebody was mowing out here when it was wet with a big tractor but it sure will make you bottom out sometime look at this there's just no way to do it if you look down here at this angle you can kind of see them coming and anticipate as much as you can raising it raising the deck with your foot but it doesn't always work I bottomed out a few times oh yeah so there'll probably be two versions of this there'll be kind of the this one is probably the one with the music and the time lapse and stuff like that, but I will follow up with a real-time version for sure. I guess that is it. So now they're all ready for their big rocket launch on Saturday, I think. And uh, I've done my job. So I appreciate y'all watching, and y'all have a good one.